everybody and welcome back to our explainer series on demand and supply. Please note that today's video is the second part in our explainer series. In our first video, the focus was on demand. Please be sure to watch the first video on demand before proceeding with today's video. The focus of today will therefore be on supply. When we talk about supply, we are talking about the producers in the economy. In order to explain supply in an easy way, consider the following explanation, but please note, do not write this down in your exam. Supply is linked to our producers. Our producers are the suppliers of goods and services in the economy. Producers are greedy. That means that they will only increase supply if they can increase the price of the product. Supply can be defined as the quantity of goods or services that producers plan to sell at each possible price during a certain period. Having defined the definition of supply, let's take a closer look at the law of supply. Other things being equal, the higher the price of the good, the higher the quantity supplied. We can therefore state that supply is equal to an increase in price, which in turn would lead to an increase in quantity supplied. Next up, our supply curve. Remember, when we draw demand and supply graphs, price will be on our y-axis and quantity on our x-axis. The supply curve is therefore as follows. Based on the definition and the law of supply, price and quantity should therefore illustrate a positive relationship. In other words, if price increases, quantity supply would also increase. And if price decreases, quantity supplied must also decrease. In order to illustrate a movement along our supply curve, we will start at point A with price 1 and quantity 1. Suppose that we now increase our price from P1 to P2. This implies that we will move along our supply curve from point A to point B. Following an increase in the price of the product, the price will increase from P1 to P2 and our quantity will increase from Q1 to Q2. And this is illustrated as a movement along our supply curve. For the next example, suppose that we are going to decrease the price of the product from P1 to P3. This will be illustrated as a movement along our supply curve from point A to point C, where our price therefore decreases from P1 to P3 and our quantity also decreases from Q1 to Q3. Great, now let's proceed to a change in supply where we are going to shift our entire supply curve either to the right or to the left. Our starting point will be at point A with price 1 and quantity 1. First, let's look at an increase in supply. When we are going to increase our supply curve, this means that our supply curve will shift to the right. Our new supply curve will therefore be S1, illustrated as a rightward shift in our supply curve. At point B, our price will be at price 1 and our new quantity will move from Q1 to Q2, illustrating an increase in quantity. Next up, a decrease in supply. This is illustrated as a leftward shift in our supply curve. The new supply curve is therefore S2 and our new quantity will decrease from Q1 to Q3. Great work! That concludes our lesson for today. Now that we've completed both demand and supply, our next video will entail equilibrium prices and quantity.